Hey, what is up guys? It's Swerve, and today I have for you guys episode 2 of my How to Stunt series, and in today's episode we're going to be covering how to catch massive amounts of speed, because before you guys attempt to stunt, first you have to understand the game's limits in terms of speed, so you can pull off bigger and better stunts, so let's just jump right into this. Alright, so the first category I'm going to be covering is regular bikes. So on a bike, the best way to catch a lot of speed is to continuously jump or bunny hop while leaning forward. And on the left, you'll see I'm jumping and leaning forward, while on the right, I'm just riding as fast as I can. And of course, the one that's jumping has a pretty significant lead over the one that's not. But yeah, that's how you catch some extra speed on a regular bike. Okay, now moving on next we have cars, and in order to do bigger car stunts you'll have to be playing on single player as Franklin, and basically all you have to do is keep using the special ability, and as you can see I just used it to maintain full speed when going over that bump, and I'm just going to pulse the ability, so just keep pressing the analog sticks and letting go, and what I found helps is to get a rhythm going so you can keep your use of ability even, and once you approach the stunt you just want to let go, so as you can see, instead of losing some speed like you normally would when you go up the ramp, it's actually going to allow me to push straight through as if it wasn't even there and I was able to land on the building all the way over here and so definitely play on single player if you want to get the most amount of speed possible. Alright so next up we have motorcycles and to catch speed you can't use Franklin's ability because it doesn't actually do anything other than allow you to maintain speed but there is another way and all you need to do is lean back or do a wheelie and on the left I have a bike leaning back and on the right that's one just riding and there's a pretty big difference in speed so you can see how important this is in doing bigger stunts. So there you have it, your full guide to catching massive amounts of speeds, and I just wanted to knock this out before we get into actual stunting techniques. But hopefully you guys learned something, and I'm going to try to keep this series going as long as I can, until I can't think of anything else. And if you enjoyed, then be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you want more videos just like this. And until next time, I'm out.